Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am here to show you guys the 2025 journal lineup. <laughs> um, so as you can see, these are the journals that I plan to use next year. Um, and the way I choose <laughs> these journals is I do have right here this bin full of empty journals and I kind of just go through all of them and pick the ones that I'm most excited to complete or to fill. Um, now, of course, this could change <laughs> um, because if for some reason I don't feel like using any of the ones I have chosen here, um, of course, I can always just come back to my bin of empty journals and choose another one. Um, but I just love the idea of kind of going through all of my empty journals or my new journals and finding the ones that I'm most excited to use at the moment. Um, so yeah, and of course also because this big bin, I have it under my bed and it's kind of easier to, to just grab a few that I'm excited at the moment to use and just put them in my bookshelves where it's easier for me to go and grab one you know um but yeah so let's start <laughs> uh so the first one i have here is this one um which is a what is it's a i'm not sure how to pronounce that but <laughs> let's turn and it's blank but I love that it has um, numbers, that it's numbered. And yeah, I'm really excited to use this one. I've, me I've been meaning to, to use it for a while since I already decorated the cover, but haven't had a chance to come back to it. And yeah, I just love how I decorated the cover and I'm really excited to finally complete it. I'm actually thinking of using this for January but we will see and then i chose this one um just because of like how you guys know i'm using another one like this that has this same type of paper as a journal for pencil only um i wish i had it right here let me see i think oh yeah it's right here give me one second guys um so this is the one that I'm currently using and I'm using it just to write with pencil only um, and I'm really enjoying that so I thought of that um, since I do have this other one with the same style um, that I could continue with the pencil writing using this one um, so yeah I'm really excited to complete this one too and then we have this one which I also decorated the cover a while back um sorry they have glitter because I had them over there where I did the um what is it the wrap-up video and I had glitter all over the place so <laughs> they they all have all kinds of glitter on them um anyway so yeah I'm really excited to use this one and this one oh yeah this one is a pen and gear one that i got from walmart and i love the pages so yeah that this would be something different in case i just want to kind of change the vibe of <laughs> the journaling um what i do is i kind of choose different styles and different sizes that way um if for some reason I get bored of using a small one, I can always switch to a different size. Or I also choose ones that are um, like thicker and thinner. I have several thin ones right there. That way in case I go into a journaling slump, which hopefully this coming year I don't go through a journaling slump because this year was terrible. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, we, I do try to add some small thin journals just in case. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to use this one too. And then we have this novel note plane. And this is a plain. It doesn't have like any lines or anything. And this is supposed to be good with fountain pens. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this journal as well. And let's see. And of course, I have to have a paper blanks in here. <laughs> and this time I chose this big one. Um, this is the, what are these called? The, sorry, the flexible cover ones. Oh yeah, the paper blanks fle flexies. Um, but yeah, this is really big. I usually don't like using big journals like this. What size would this be? I'm not sure what's the size. But it's really big. Like, this is an A5. And then you can see it's like wider and even taller than an A5. So, yeah. It's pretty big, but, you know, it's nice to have um, just different sizes to have fun with, you know? We will see how this goes. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to start January using this one or the pink one that I showed you guys. This one. I'm not sure yet. Because I like that this one has stars in like the colors and that it's gold. And for some reason when I think of New Year, I think of stars and like sparkles and gold and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, this one also has some stars, but I'm not sure. I think I might start January or start the year with this one, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to start the year with this one. I think it will give me good luck. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And then I have two handmade journals by Stacy that I'm really excited to complete as well because this year um i completed one and i'm still working on one of her journals and her journals are just so 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 fun to use and work in um they got me through um some journal slumps <laughs> uh so yeah of course i wanted to add some of her anime journals um yeah they are just really fun like it makes me get really creative when I use them they really like inspire me um so yeah I chose this one which is kind of thick and I love how she added um these like what are these called like like ribbons and like lace ribbons and this one also has them it's super cute um, but yeah, I'm really excited to use this ones, and I think I'm going to use this ones around um, springtime and maybe summer, like April and May, mm, um, hopefully. And then I also have this ones that I want to use, um, which this ones I bought this year. I know I told myself I didn't want to buy any new journals anymore, and I, I bought several this year. <laughs> um, but anyways, <laughs> it's kind of hard, right? Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to... Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm really excited to use this ones. Um, I don't know, I just love this like sketch um, look through them. Oh, I mean of them. Um, they're, I guess, like Van Gogh's sketches. So, yeah, I'm just really excited to use this ones at one point. At least one of them I would like to use. Um, and this one too. This one I bought a, a day so. And the reason I'm really excited to use this one is because I want to... I'm excited to decorate the, the front. I kind of want to look for like a cute fabric and i want to glue a fabric in here and i got really inspired by um stacy's journals because they're like they have fabric 
and the one I'm currently using also has like fabric and I think that's super fun like it gives it a special um like a special how do I say this <laughs> yeah it just gives the journal like more character I feel like and I just really want to try that just try and glue um some fabric and kind of create maybe glue several different types of fabric and kind of create like my own like make it uh have more character i don't know i just bought this plain one because i thought i wanted to like create my create my own cover um so yeah i'm really excited about that i'm not sure at what point i'm going to do that i guess until i find like a cute fabric that i would like to use for this but yeah i'm excited about that um and then of course this one's also not only because they're cute but they're thin so in case i go into a journaling slump i can always just grab one of these and then it'll be fast and easy to complete <laughs> um and then i also have some like pocket size ones and then the what are these a6 yeah, I believe these are A6 Fibonacci uh, notebooks. Alrighty, so let's start with this. Oh, actually, I do have another paper blanks that I plan to use. These small paper blanks. Paper blanks are just so cute and so fun to work in. So, of course, I always have to um, include some paper blanks. Um, and this one is a... Oh, it says online. So yeah, it's a blank online notebook, which that should be fun. I love the covers. And then I also have this one, which is also from Daiso. Daiso? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Um, and this one, I can't remember if it's lined or not. Oh yeah, this one is lined. But yeah, these ones are small and nice to like, hopefully complete fast. <laughs> And yeah, I love that one. Oh yeah, and this one is also like a fabric. It's fabric. And I love that. And then of course, I want to complete at least one of these Hobonichis. Um, so yeah, whatever I'm in the mood of completing at that moment, um, I will choose which ones. Maybe I'm in the mood of completing all of them. Who knows, but <laughs> at least um, I would like to complete at least one because I love this size. This is like my favorite journaling size and it's fun to carry around. It's easy to put in my purse and go um, and I love the covers, of course. And I can use fountain pens in this one. So yeah, and there's a wash tape in there already. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have those three. And then, finally, I have some um, passport size traveler's notebooks because this e this coming year, 2025, oh, I have it right here. I was looking for my, um, this year, this coming year, I really want to try and use my traveler's notebook a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, I bought myself these two um passport size and this ones are the grid i want to get also the blank and the lined just because i want to try like the different types of notebooks they have sorry i was trying to reach for this other one that i have right there i also have another one like this um but this one i already put some stickers on it maybe this will be the first one i use before opening those um but yeah i'm really really excited to try and journal in a passport i think it would be really fun and i think what i'll do is i'll put three of them or whatever fits i'm pretty sure i can fit three if not two but i think i'll just call them like volume one two and three and then um count like three of them as one journal just because they are so small and once I complete all three of them I would just um, tie them together and yeah and that would be just like one journal um, so that's the plan for this one um, 
I also, I forgot to mention, but I did bought two of these ones, which are the Life Noble Note Plane, which are like this big one, but in a like pocket size. They are so cute. I love this style of these ones. And I also want to get the other, um, the other ones that they have. I think it has like dotted and lined, I believe. Um, I want to get more of the, of the, what are they called? The pocket ones. I don't know why, but for some reason, I kind of want to start journaling a little bit more in pocket notebooks. Um, I don't know. That's just how I've been feeling lately. I want to give it a try <laughs> and see how that goes. Um, but I'm not sure if I would be able to journal in this one. This one's a little too small for me. I might use it for something else, but I just love how cute they are. But for sure, this one's, this one's, I think it's like a nice size. It's not that too bad. Um, I've seen people journaling in, um, field notes and I love how their journaling looks in their in the field notes um but I'll see if I, I don't know if I want to try using field notes I have a lot of field, note, field notes too that I need to use up but at the point um at this point I am still waiting for like <laughs> um what to use them for I'm currently using some of my field notes as um commonplace notebooks so I think I'll just stay, um, I'll just keep doing that, just using them for that for the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is all my journals that I plan to use for next year. Um, we shall see what gets completed and if I end up switching for an other ones that I have over here or if or if I buy any new ones, hopefully not, because I want to use what I have, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, but so far, I'm super excited to use what I have right here in front of me, so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you already chose what journals you would like to use, or if you just go as you finish a journal, or what are your plans for next year, alrighty, well, have a great day, thank you for watching, bye-bye.